if it was legal to murder people, he would have been dead. And I would have called his family and explained it to him, and they would have been like, oh, I get it. <laughs> fucking wait. What's up, fucking YouTube? I can't hear myself, so I have no idea how loud I am. So I'm Too sorry loud. if I'm loud to you, Trev. Oh, yeah, dude. It's not like you yell on this podcast either. Hey! <laughs> Did you see a YouTuber got shot for a prank? He's alive. I wish he wasn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> dude, he like went up to a guy and he just kept playing. It was in a mall. In a mall, probably Maryland. Which one? In, in Syracuse? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's probably somewhere uh, with a lot of vowels in the name. Uh, but yeah, he was, he kept like playing a phone thing for this guy. And the guy was like, stop. He literally said, stop. He's like, stop, 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 stop. And then he just <laughs> pulled out a... And he's guilty. He's not guilty. He's not guilty. What was the song? Like Baby Shark? What was he playing on the on the phone? It was like a Siri audio voice type thing. I mean, that's... So the Siri voice was just saying what? Like, I like refrigerators. I like refrigerators. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I think it, it's online. It was something about like a brother. Or it was like some incest thing. So it might be in for you. Maybe that's why oh, I I'm, shot. He's like, I'm getting hard. Stop. <laughs> I mean... That's listen. I, I would want to shoot a lot of people in my life. I haven't yet. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I said yet. I, I said yet. But to shoot someone because they're playing a ringtone, yeah. that's a little. Jack, what store were they in? Top topic. Uh dude, it's in the food court. I mean, honestly, bro, he was probably hungry. Now I'm back on board. Dude, he's a DoorDash driver. Oh, I'm I'm so in. Yeah, dude, you're getting I'm so in. You're getting paid. Your tip is buffalo sauce. I'm shooting somebody, dude. Because uh, here's the thing: he's picking up food from the food court. Your life, not great. Oh, that's not that's not an easy pickup either. You got to park the car, walk into the mall, find the food court. Is it Sbarro? Is it Chinatown? Something Chinatown Express, Panda Express heater. Um, um, I do have some more context here if you guys want it. Please, um, yeah, so please. in the video, Cook can be seen following Coley around the mall while thrusting his phone in his face as it plays the bizarre phrase, hey, dipshit, quit thinking about my twinkle multiple times <laughs> using a Google Translate app. Shoot him. <laughs> shoot him. Literally shoot him. I, I don't even need any more context in that. I don't, like, shoot it. If you play anything, especially that, if you're following me around... I'm shooting you. Yeah, because in my I'm head, you're shooting. not real. You're an AI person. It's like, st 100%. stop. I said stop. Leave me. Uh, the gun's a little aggressive. I would have like nope, probably stepped on not. his shoes. I'd wear Heelys and stomp on his big toe and say, fuck off. Dude, I'm surprised. In I would have shot him court. multiple times and then threw him into a Build-A-Bear and hoped that people stuffed his organs inside of a bear. Shipped this bear, <laughs> shipped the bear to his family and, and all said happy birthday on him. Fuck that. I'm, I'm pulling furious. Up a, I'm pulling up a picture of the guy that um that he the that did the shooting. You Good. don't want to you don't want to harass that nope. guy. No, anyone who walks around well rested but looks tired, I mean, <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that Dude, guy but looks. Like, but think about that. He's like getting ready for work for DoorDash, and he's like, "All right, do I have the Glock? Phone, That's keys, wallet, true. Glock." <laughs> like, when else but, would you ever need to use that? Here's here's the question though. If I'm if I'm not in a great city, of course, and I'm doing DoorDash, I have to go to people's homes. I'm I'm being glocked up. But what? if he's in like, you know, if he's in, well, I can't even think of a city that's not in shambles. We live in America. Oh, you know what I mean? I was literally trying to think of a city that wouldn't be glocked up. Maybe Silver Spring, Maryland. Yeah, but even then, yeah, maybe like uh, Rancho Cucamonga or something. I feel like there's, but I, isn't there gang activity in any city? Like, can we think of a city there's no gang activity? Maybe in, like, Japan, but that's it. No. Japan, there's, like, zero crime rate. You will get galocked out there. Oh, dude, I have such a funny TSA story. Well, wait, where was oh, yeah, this yeah. one? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Where, where was this one at, Gabe? What city? Uh, Let me find out. By the way, for those listening to audio, I am in New York right now in a hotel room. Michael is in the studio. So if we sound any different, any hotter, that's why. And the chemistry's off, you know? No, uh, dude, I could you know a long distance relationship. Like, imagine getting the same satisfaction you get at the studio versus now when we're talking over Zoom. My here's cock the thing. is soft. In, here's the thing. I will say though, I'm into long distance relationship. You know why? <laughs> Don't have to see her. Let's go. No, no, but you do. You have to see her every night on Facetime, and nobody's nobody's yeah, dick is this. getting. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Whoopsie Daisies networks down. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live in the fucking DoorDash community? Are you with the glocked out guy? 
Dude, no, dude, you buy, dude. I have T-Mobile. There's definitely places that my phone doesn't work unless they sponsor the show, and then they get great 5G everywhere. Mint Mobile, yeah, but then she'd be like, "Babe, for our <laughs> one year anniversary, I got you a better phone plan. I'll be back for my trip in 19 months." Listen, I went swimming and I lost it. <laughs> How are you they, gonna talk they to me right found, now? Then? They haven't found the subway and the, the subway. They haven't found the submarine. They haven't found my phone. Cut the beginning, the end. No, leave funny. it all in. All right, <laughs> leave God it all damn in. Damn it! <laughs> leave it uh, in. It happened in Virginia. Uh, oh, Virginia is a wild. Yeah, I forget that's well, a place. It is. Dude, Virginia Beach, Virginia is wild. I love when they just put the name next to beach. Is it even close to the beach? That's a dumb question. Is Virginia Beach close to the beach? I'm going to let you sit in that one. All right. Beach is so close to bitch is hilarious. Well, guess oh, yeah, what beaches have, Michael? What? Bitches. bitches. Dude, it's so Dude, funny. Beaches. Both of our, like... Our profile, like right now, you look like you're about to, uh, <laughs> you, you look like you're me. about to do like a, a video to like teenagers about like smoking the vapes in the bathroom or, or, or you look like you run a Game of Thrones podcast and I look like I am doing uh, my final video on YouTube ever. And the, the caption is just like, sorry, period, all lowercase. <laughs> yeah. And you just have like 400 fentanyls right in front of you. <laughs> Dude, uh, can I tell you my, Dude. my my TSA story? Yeah, and Gabe, can you move the, the mouse off his eye? Oh, yeah. Thank here. you. Should I put it on his dick? There we go. Let's Jerk him off with So I have... We've all been... This is my worst TSA story ever. We've all been... Wow. It's insane. This is insane. saying a lot. It's okay. insane. I'm so, so happy. You know O'Hare Airport? Yeah, it oh sucks. <laughs> yeah, Chicago. <laughs> if anybody's strapped up, Chicago. So yeah. I'm going through TSA 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Your boy hasn't eaten anything. We're about a oh. we're about a hotel coffee deep. I'm one sneeze away from shooting a pigeon. Okay, I'm I'm 100%. on. It. Yeah, and I'm just like, all right, I'll just eat at the gate. It's early, and um, this is pre-check. Might I add, my dumbass brain always thinks that pre-check is going to be nicer, like qual like the like personality wise than normal. It's not. They don't give a fuck. Nope. Same people. Why? It's the same place. You just don't take off your shoes. Somebody give me caviar about. and suck my big toe. I'm going through, and nothing beeps. I go. I walk through. It's not the. It's not the YMCA one. It's not the arms yeah, up. Yeah. I walk through. Nothing beeps, and she goes, "Go back." And it's eight a.m. And I say, "Why?" Good. And I was like, Good. "What do you mean, why?" And she goes, "She, <laughs> she goes, go back again and walk how you normally walk." <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Swear all my life. She goes, why can't you normally walk? And I and now I'm Michael Blaustein, two mojitos in the sunglasses deep. Yes. I yep. go, that's how I walk. She goes, you always walk like that? I go, I'm just walking here. Nothing beeped. Why am I gotta go back? She goes, walk like you always walk. And I This is did, I'm sorry. This is fucking crazy. She's literally, she's never met you, and she's telling you. That you don't normally walk like that? Yeah, now, but hey, now. So hey, I, bitch, I have MS. <laughs> I walk like that. Sorry. The, I, I, I honestly, I wish this woman was at a oh, mall in yeah, fucking Virginia. Sorry, I'm limping. My AK <laughs> was poking me in the Achilles. <laughs> Literally, I go back and I walk again. And now I'm in my head like, do I walk like a fucking terrorist? Do I walk sus? <laughs> like, like. What? I, yeah. What does my Go walk ahead, say about me that somebody sees me and they're like, this motherfucker's sketch? Maybe he, she just thought your dick was too big. That's what I'm saying. Got yes. that big dick energy. So, okay. So do you go back and walk through again? I had to. No. I go back and so I walk you're, through. So you're on the other end. And then now you're super in your head like, how do I walk like a normal person? Yeah. And then, and then you just walk how you thought you walk. And then she was like, good. Yeah, I just walked in like slow-mo. Like when you're like uh, a little, you're like really drunk and you get up out of a chair at first and your body's still yes. catching up to your brain. That makes so much sense. I went like that, but like, I'm like, dude, fucking, they can just say anything. Why are these idiots so goddamn mean? TSA is the only service you pay for where they're rude to you. Like flying is a service, but that's all a part of it. What are we doing? Listen. Let's let's backtrack, man. And anyone who's part of TSA, no disrespect no, to you. No, fuck you. Okay, cool. <laughs> fuck them. Um, <laughs> whatever. I'm on board. But this is where I'm at. If you apply to work at TSA, right? You're like a you're like one 
inch away from a mall cop. Yeah. So you're not, I don't, I, I think you probably woke up and your whole family is probably like firefighters and like police officers. And you know, you're not an athlete. You probably had too many fucking gummy bears and you can't make the force and you can't put out fires. So you go, I don't have any power in my regular life. Now, what job do I want? TSA. That makes total and then sense. That, yeah, and then you're this. There's just those type of people, and and there's 19 of them. But it was it was so bizarre, and it was crowded. And this lady behind me goes like, "I have never seen that. I've been flying for like 40 years. I've never seen that." Yeah, and I'm like, "Fucking good." I, yeah, I I just like. It but blew- also, but also, I'm so sorry to. But also, like, even if you're walking different, because you walk different, it doesn't make metal dissipate out of your body. It's the metal detector. It doesn't. You can fucking moonwalk through that bitch, and it's gonna. It'll go off if you have a Glock in your pocket. Yeah, sick of it. No sense. So, so I'm. I, I like this is eight a.m. and I'm just losing my mind. There was another yeah. part to it, but it happened a week ago. I was trying to figure out what remember what it was, but I remember the next time I was flying, I was coming out of Madison, and that airport is tiny, and yeah. the, the guy working there. I mean, if you would have thrown water on him, he would have just malfunctioned. You would have had to dip that boy in a bowl of dry rice. He was just like not a real person. And he goes, do you have a t-shirt under that jacket? And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, can you take your jacket off? I said, no. And he goes, okay. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. Because I'm on I'm on my fuck TSA shit, you know, yep. FSTA. And then he just went, okay. And I was like, holy fuck, I'm more powerful than the TSA right now. Yeah, you could just do that. Well, you're more powerful than people than Matt. I mean, I, I hear you. If you. The power of no is hilarious. Walk through again. No. What do you think she would have done? Uh, she, her, she would have called the real police. Like you would have been fucked. I don't. I don't think she's having a good day. But, correct. But like, to, I'm just wondering, like, if she's already at a ten, her coworkers already know. Like, that's just Deborah. They'd be like, yeah, she's yeah. overreacting. Or they'd be like, listen, it's for safety. If we tell you to walk back, walk back. But that's just like, have you flown jet suite yet? No, I haven't, dude. When, you told me about it. I need to do it. It's like taking your first Uber after you've only been taking taxis your entire life. And I'm not trying to do a brand deal for them uh, unless you want to sponsor me. But essentially, it's like it's, it's like a mini airport terminal that you drive up to and you walk through and you, you're you on your flight in five minutes. They swab your backpack and shit to make sure there's no nuclear explosives. And then you're just on. And it, the boarding takes like five minutes. And the fact that there's that in the world. And then when I fly just LAX and O'Hare and these other mainstream airports, I'm like, dude, where's the middle ground? Why, why are we either like, you're a piece of shit. Your cum had more than 3.5 ounces in it. Like, <laughs> why, why? That's why Jack dude, was I, stuck in Philly so long. His fucking nuts were filled dude, up. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I will say, first of all, for sure, Glock. But I will say that we just fly so much more than the average person. So the odds of us running into weird TSA things, the, we just, the, the, you know, the odds are against us. It's like we literally fly every fucking weekend. Yes. God damn. Trevor Walls Comedy, Kansas City. I'm Travis Kelsey, and I'm hanging out with Taylor Swift October 13th and 14th in Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri, four shows at, I think it's just called the Comedy Club. And then I'm going to be in Australia October 25th through October 30th. Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, Trevor Walls Comedy. Dot com. I will see you there. Down under TrevorWallsComedy.com. God damn. This episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Let me tell you something, dude. HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Dude, that's awesome, dude. Skips trips to the grocery store. No one likes the grocery store. And count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it is America's number one meal kit. Dude, we talk about this all the time. We love it. You are going to freaking love it, dude. It's great for, listen, I live alone, okay? So I do this. I make one uh, meal, and it lasts me about three to four other meals. It's amazing. It's also great for a date night, okay? You, oh, I want to go bowling. Nobody wants to go bowling, okay? You go back to your house or, or her house, you make this meal, you bond, you eat together, dude. You know, it's amazing. So, HelloFresh does all the shopping and meal planning for you. Ingredients arrive at your doorstep pre-portioned. God, that's so nice. And ready to cook, along with pictured step-by-step recipe cards. I'm dumb, so I definitely need that. How easy is that, dude? It is so easy. Even I can do it. We all know HelloFresh takes takes the hassle out of meal time, but did you know it also saves you money? HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. 
That means less stress in your day and more money back in your pocket. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 socks and use code 50 socks for 50% off plus free shipping. Dude, that is incredible. So again, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 socks and use code 50 socks for 50% off plus free shipping. America's number one meal kit. God damn. I remember what the other part was. And this Give isn't even that entertaining, but it's just like, how come when people get on a flight, their reading level just dissipates. They're like, my mean? seat is 4B. And then they go, okay, 4B. I'm going to sit in 4A. Like, it's like their brain just stops. I get on a flight, really small flight, really small. It's a connecting from Chicago to uh, to Madison. We're, no, not Madison. Well, who gives a fuck? Grand Rapids? Is that <laughs> even a place? And there's a lady, and she's, this is another Michael moment. And I'm sorry, we'll get to sex talk in a little bit. I'm trying to come. But <laughs> dude, I'm ho- I'm, I'm fuck. All right, I I need to fuck. I haven't fucked in over a week. I need, all right, go go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny flight, and this is the connecting one to Grand Rapids. I get on, and I am sprinting. I'm barely made it, right? Yeah. And uh, somebody's in four B, and I go, oh, I uh, I think I'm four B, and she goes, well, I'm four B, so that can't be. And I go, listen, bitch. And it's like, what am I? <laughs> You're gonna- in four C. You know what C stands for? <laughs> Beep it. <laughs> I'm going to Australia. I can say it. <laughs> but but now in my head, I'm like, okay, you think I'm lying? Out of all the seats I could take on the plane, you think I'm like, bingo, bitch. 4B and the B stands for bitch. You was bingo. I go up to her and I go, and I show her the boarding pass on my phone. I'm like, oh, well, here's like my boarding pass. I don't want you to think I'm like a liar. And then she goes, okay. And then she prints out this is how i know she didn't travel a lot she printed out her boarding pass and she starts yeah. digging through her bag for it like legit felt like a minute and then she pulls it up and she goes oh i'm 4a and then just just no i'm sorry no nothing and then just scoots over the no i'm sorry would have killed me just say just, you're sorry but but now we're sitting on a flight together like that didn't just happen like you didn't just fucking yell at me for no reason like i don't have feelings well i'm 4b so that can't be oh cool you know what you should also be four bidden to fly shut the fuck up <laughs> 4b so that can't be that sounds like an art teacher 4b <laughs> so that can't be move over i'll hit you with my g glock sit down <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't fuck. know I, yeah. dude dude i went through dsa last week and i I generally wear a hat when I fly just because I wake up fucking I just put my hat on, right? So normally I take it off and walk through. I don't know why I felt I feel like they don't whatever. But yeah. this time, this time I so I did what I was doing. I took it off, right? And then I walk through and the guy grabs my hat, looks me in the eye, and then goes, Hey man, next time you don't have to take off your hat because if your hat's on, I can't do this. And then he searches the, the rim of it and then he hands it back to me. And I'm like, this is the first time in my life that TSA literally gave me like a pointer that's going to help my life out in the future. Dude. I was like, this guy, this guy just got this job. Yeah, that reminds me of, uh, I, I started going to a new dentist and he has a neck tat. So things are looking up in the Trevor Wallace world. But he was literally telling me, because I went in there because I, I had a tooth and the back hurt. And he's like, hey, just a heads up, man. Don't tell me your teeth hurt or else we'll find a way to spin it to like, quote, fix it. Yep. And yep. Then we'll charge you. So let me do the checking first because I know it better than anybody. Let me do the checking first and then I'll tell you if something's fucked up. And if you do the checking, uh, if I do the checking and it's all good and then after you're like, oh, it's still there, then it won't be That's a right. full assessment. He told me that. And then he was also, I, I asked him about bleaching my teeth and he's like, oh, honestly, man, I, w- I would just go to a. Uh, like CVS and get the whitening strips. They're cheaper and uh, you can do it at home. I was like, you hate this job. Well, well, you know what's so funny is when someone's being honest to you, Yeah. you go, hey, you're not doing your job right. It feels fucking weird. I appreciate it. I was like, thank you, re- strange <laughs> neck tat man. I love you. Dude, I was at my dentist. And this is such a me thing. I was at the dentist. Oh, I and love they this. And they told me I had two cavities. And I said, no, I don't. <laughs> Because you're in great physical health. I said, dude, Trap, that is still... I forgot to tell you. I said, I said, no, I don't. And then I just paid for what I did and left. My teeth don't hurt. You're, you literally My... gaslighted your dentist. Yep. 
I don't have a cavity unless Dude, my teeth uh, are. But imagine going to what's what's it called? Dentistry school? We'll run yeah. with it. Whatever. That Optometrist? Works. What's that? That's eyes. How do I find a top optometrist? Come on, man. <laughs> oh God, that's called uh, Amsterdam. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was talking to, I did Hannah Burner's podcast today, and she's oh, like, so good. I love her. It was great. She's Paige, the best, so dude. hot. Uh, DM me. Paige, but, average. What? No, I just, I told her to DM me a hundred times when I was on that podcast. She never did, so it's over. Damn. I'm joking, Paige. I love you. But um, she's like, that Amsterdam stuff isn't real, is it? I was like, come on now. Yeah, you were like, ma'am, look at my pee hole. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> if you asked Michael that after the first red door, he would tell you it's not real. Oh, Fuck, dude! I hope she fell down so many stairs, dude. So you told you told your dentist I don't have cavities. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. No, they told me they told me I had two when I was in the chair, and in my head I was like, my teeth don't hurt. No, I don't. I didn't say it, but then when I went to the front, and they were like, oh, we need to do a, an appointment for your two cavities. I go, I don't. I know I don't. No, no I, I don't have them. No, I know. Because <laughs> in my head, man, I don't have cavities. Those my teeth hurt. Why the fuck do I need to fill some shit? Cause, but I feel like the way that your dentist was talking is how all places work. But that's like, like everyone's trying to fuck me in the ass. Of course, but that's also like saying like I don't need new tires unless they're popped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't you feel like that? Yeah, but like, they might know better. Like if the tires are balding or something. I don't know. It's it's just so funny that anytime a professional who went to school for this is like, you have a cavity. Uh, you're not in mental physical health. Whatever the fuck they said. You're like, no. Well, they. I, I, look, I, I, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If my teeth don't hurt, leave them alone. When they do, I'll see you. Every time I go to the dentist, I go because I, my teeth hurt. And I go and say, hey, man, what's wrong? They go, hey, too much cum. I go, all right, cool. And then I fix it. Yeah, they really got to start lying and say there's more nutritional value in cum. I think that would really help society. They do say that, dude. There's a lot of vitamin C in it Whoa. and zinc. And you know what else is in there? Vitamin U what? and M. God! Damn. Speaking of, Dude. you said you had a good story about a uh, sexual reference, possibly. Oh my God. All right. Paint so the this picture. Happened, this ha oh, I'm painting it. So this happened about maybe three weeks ago, right? I'm talking to this new lady and uh, she's very nice. Everything's going phenomenal. We had, uh, this is our second date and we had a nice long date and we hadn't, we hadn't done anything, uh, anything sexual yet. Nice long date, really hitting it off, you know, hey. have a few drinks and at the time, I'm in, I'm still in this Airbnb, so I have a two-bedroom Airbnb. My videographer is staying with me, um, uh, but he is, that night he has a, he has a hotel, right? Oh. So he has his stuff still at the place, right? Uh -huh. So it's about 1230. He's not there when we get back from the date. So in my head, I'm like, oh, he's already gone. He's already back at the hotel. He already bounced. So me and this lady, and mind you, she's great. It's not like, it's not a very transactional thing. I, I like, you know, there's a chance that I like, I like this girl, right? So I'm like, all right, let's, I, you know, it's my first time. Hold I'm up. trying to fucking, I'm trying to pop that. Give her the A game. Say it. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this in LA? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I thought this was on the road. Your apartment's still no. not done? Still, dog. I, I, guys, listen. They're literally... I, they're running a trap house out of there. Let me tell you a secret. Ask me where I slept literally last night. A lady's I house. Went, no. I literally just went to my place and slept in my place because I missed it so much. You should I should have took a video of what my place looks like right now. It look it's so funny. There's wood, there's a massive hole. Like it looks like a fucking crack house. Yeah, breaking bad. Breaking sad. Cause you just want to sleep in so your own sad. bed. Yes, I just wanted to sleep in my own bed with my own pillow. And honestly, even with all the shambles, I slept so fucking good. I woke up. I went right. Out, I made coffee with my own fucking espresso maker. I went outside of my my outside space in the sun. I fucking meditated. I like felt like I was home for the first time in like a month and a half. Felt so fucking good. Yeah, dude. I don't know how you've been doing that. I mean, just like nothing. Like this this hotel. I'm gonna sleep here and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna go. That was an average sleep. I don't yep. have any connection. Yes. It's like it's like a one night stand. You're waking yes. up the next morning, you're like, what is this? What happened? I guess it worked. What is this, dude? My dad doesn't even love me. It's like True. a whole thing. So, Airbnb, two, three weeks ago, whatever the fuck the timeline is. I thought get back from the date at like 1230. Great date. Great date. Good chemistry. She's looking hot. I feel like I'm looking hot. It's about to pop off. Is this uh Yes. Oh god, what? 
I don't know. I don't know. I was just going to say the a lady you showed me. Yes. 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 Hey. So this is like, you know, this is an important moment for me. It's it's time it's time for the fucking uh, shall I say smackdown, right? Oh. So. Hold yeah, up. Cuz we haven't we haven't done the old yet, okay? So, we go back into the room and again for the 12th time, I thought my video was back at the hotel. I didn't see any of his shit. So we start making out, right? I literally am put the condom on. I put it in I mash it in you two pumps. Oh, count it. And then I look at, and my phone starts going off. Look at my phone. It's my videographer. Decline. Bitch, wait. I don't care where you are. Wait. Wherever you are. Oh, no. The fucking ISIS has me. Wait. Don't care. Another two pumps. I shit you not. Calls me again. Bitch. <laughs> he, he knows I was on a date. He knows. This is, it was such against fucking the, the natural guy code. I was fucking furious. I have never been so mad in my life, dude. I get, I literally grab the phone. I slam it back down. <laughs> what the? Dog, I was furious. I take, I'm naked. I fucking, I take the, first of all, I take the condom off. I have no idea. Okay, was this, this all just a ploy to raw dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so funny. no, so I don't, I don't do that. I don't know when I'm mad. I do crazy shit, right? So I literally take the condom off for, for no fucking reason, and then I just take the covers and I put them around me, and I fucking am walking like I'm about to like fight a bear. Like you're going to I a toga party? Uh, well, it was just like around me, like a yeah, I guess like a toga, right? But you're right. I'm just saying, it very. <laughs> so so hard, bro. I don't know, but y'all. Anyways, so I'm walk. I'm so fucking mad. I sl I fucking open the door and I open so hard it fucking slams, like hits the wall and comes back. He has to stop it with his hand, and I fucking just tr like walk the fuck back. And I go back in. She, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I, I just, like I settle down a bit. We get right back into it, right? You're still hard, and or you had to work back in. Work back in. I mean, I am. I am. It's. I'm not sexual anymore. If it was legal to murder people, he would have been dead. And I would have called his family and explained it to him, and they would have been like, oh, I get it. <laughs> Fucking wait. Wait. God damn. Big shout out to our next sponsor, Game Time. What is it? I'll tell you. You shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets to your next big event. Okay? Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, Trevor Wallace, Michael Balsign, and theater events near you. With killer last minute deals, all in one pricing, views from the seat, that is the best feature. Okay? Nobody wants crap seats. You want to know exactly what your vantage point is. I love this freaking app. Okay? Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets tickets i've said this before i'll say it again dude when i want lakers freaking playoff tickets i use game time dude it gave me amazing seats the prices were incredible it was so easy dude it was like three clicks boom i have tickets you can use apple wallet it's really really great um highly highly recommend dude it's easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area um i used it uh today actually oh yeah uh the baseball playoffs start uh this weekend and you know you can buy like tickets up like a month in advance for like potential playoff tickets oh. if your team makes it or whatever but you don't know like what day it's going to be you don't know like who they're going to be playing what one you want to go to so with game time it's nice because you can just like wait until all that's settled so now the playoff picture set Word. i know what day they're playing i know what team they're playing and so it's like cool i'm just going to get tickets on game time and they were like cheap you saw the seats it was great that's incredible, dude. I actually got uh, baseball playoff tickets because I wanted to go to sleep. So, <laughs> take the guess we're out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code SOCKS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code S O C K S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. God damn. But why didn't you text him and be like, give me 10? I need more than that. Bitch. Yeah, but like, I think no, you I get the gist. I know. Do I just, I don't know, man. When I'm in that sex, I don't know what's happening. I, I don't, I'm not thinking clearly, obviously, right? You're totally right. I could have just texted him like, hey, man, can you take a walk on the block? I'll be, uh, just give me like 20 minutes. Take a whatever. walk. I'm taking out my cock. Say it again. So I get back in there, right? And I'm so not hard. And we get back into it pretty quick. And, uh, and then put another condom on. And I start going at it, and I'm so emotionally distraught towards this gentleman that I can't 
get his fucking stupid face out of my brain. So I am Yo, trying pause. to have a good performance with this new lady who I might like long term. I'm trying. I can't get his stupid, beady, shark fucking <laughs> eyes out of my head. I was, he was haunting me even when he wasn't there. I was so mad. And then, I, and then I'm just, I'm like, he's just his fucking stupid face. And I, I couldn't get it out. So for like five, ten minutes, I'm trying to like perform and act like I'm Fuck not thinking about. you mean perform? About- I'm doing a type five? <laughs> Wait, so you were just like hitting it and then you just see would see his face? Yes. Yeah, were but you, it wasn't were, flashing, dog. It was the whole like he I couldn't it was like seared into my fucking and, and, neurons. And so how hard are you when you're thinking of your videographer? Like, like I mean, never been so hard in my life, dude. I came so no. I, I just like I was trying to battle it. And I was trying to like stay in it, but I just couldn't I couldn't stay in it. I couldn't stay in it. And then eventually Eventually, it, like he like got out of my brain, but I'm talking about it was there. He was like in and out of my brain for like 15 minutes. Like it was like I was eating her coochie in his dumbass fucking brain. All right, my his dumbass face. You feel like, like <laughs> any 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 like any like shavings that she has? It feels like his beard. <laughs> You're fucking. <laughs> did you did you press record? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. So I was. Oh God. So. Huh. And and I'm gonna be honest, man, like like I I, I usually kinda, you know, I Here usually feel as though Here we go. I usually feel as though in that realm, like, you know, in terms of performance level, like I wouldn't say I'm like Kobe Bryant, but I would start for the Lakers. I would say I'm pretty good. It was average. It was so average. Cause I was fucking a dude in my brain for the first fifteen goddamn minutes. Did she what? know that you were mad? Like, could she tell? Yeah, like, that's that you also were, like, a fuming? weird. That'd be a turn off. She, when I got up, she knew. I mean, dude, I was. What did she think you were doing? You're like, ah, oh, my other hoe's calling. Funny. I no, I think. You know what's funny? She didn't. Act, well, no, no. Right when I got back in, she was like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah, my fucking video. If I needed to get in, whatever, whatever." Um, but but, dude, I, I was like, combination of like, I just, I, I don't know. I felt like. And I'm just making too much of a deal of it. it. But like in my brain, it was like this fucking egotistical male thing. It's like the first time we're doing it. Like it needs to be the best. And, da, 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 da. and then oh. it was like fine. It was like fine. And and then I was just like, listen, and I was you'll just get married so to her. You'll get married to her, and that's the last lady you'll ever sleep with. So it does. You'll have plenty more times. You love her. <laughs> no, I um, dude. It felt like I because I haven't had a roommate in fucking ever. Yeah. And it would just brought back all this like college memories of people getting locked out or someone drunk lost their keys or some shit. And you're trying to deal with all that. And I'm like, I'm a fully grown man that pays taxes. I have a 401k fucking wait. I was just, I, I don't, I just, if I call, well, so wait, 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 where was he? He was outside of the door. No, but just like trying to get in. Wait, why wouldn't you so guys he can get take- his shit and go to the hotel? But like he didn't have his bags. Oh, where was he? He was at he was at the comedy store uh, watching shows. Um, so he was just kicking it there, and then he came back. You know, like whatever it was, ten minutes after we got back. Gotcha. I just thought he was gone. I don't know, man. Am I being too? Cr- I just like. Yeah, I mean, obviously him and I are fine now, but I just like in my head, if I knew that my friend was on a date, I would have just like I would have called, and then if he didn't pick up. I would have at least been like, all right, let me, in in the off chance that he's doing some fornication, let me, let me just go take a walk. I'll go to the bar, get a drink. Wait a second. I don't think it's Whatever. anyone's fault. I think it's just a lack of communication. He wasn't like, hey, I'm coming back. And you aren't like, yo, I'm coming back with a, with a lady. Yeah. Is your shit gone? Correct. Correct. And I will say what I didn't mention is I'll take I'll definitely take some accountability here because he does he obviously doesn't have a key to the place so I we were just leaving the door open and again I'm not used to having roommates so I locked the door when I got back mm. so I should have left the door open but also that would have been just he, as weird she's like is somebody in here like, yeah 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 
It's my yeah, videographer. And- She's like, for what? <laughs> <laughs> Pornhub, ho. Um, yeah, dude, I was... It was funny. It's funny now. But in the moment, I was like, bro... Because he told me the next day, he's like, I've never seen you. And I was like, dude, I... If I wasn't rock hard, I I would have I would have fired him, for no reason. He's a very nice guy. He's great at his fucking job. But I was just like, I was. If I wasn't hard, I would have fired him. That sounds like an HR violation on every level. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't hard, <laughs> you know, dude, lesson porn, learned. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I do it a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And it's like, and it's, you still it, came. It, yeah, but I mean, it was like. It was one of those things where, like, no one came off sex. I had to go down on her. She had to go down on me. It was, like, one of those things where, like, both of us were, like, struggling to come. It was, You know what I mean? It was, like, all right, it was like at Midas when people were, like, all right, I'll, I'll get, uh, okay, all right. It's, like, you know, it felt like work. I don't think anyone was having a great time towards Dude, the end. that's honestly how I feel. Round two. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. No, round yeah, yeah, two, oh. I always, like, I get in my head, I go, oh. it's like, it's so weird because I'll be, like, I'll get bricked. But that, you know, the shotgun's cocked and loaded, but there ain't no bullets in there. And I'm just hoping that I can load up in time. Um, but sometimes I'll be like, oh, I think I feel it. I think I feel it. And then she'll say something like, I want you to come for me. And I'm like, ah, what? now there's a shot clock. Cock, cock. Yeah. Cock, cock. cock. Shot, shot cock. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's like the second I Furious. get in my head, it's like all downhill. It's literally why I've ever even come fast. It's like, I was like nervous. I was like, ah. Oh. This girl's too hot. Uh, this, this I've never said that, but uh, I'll be like, oh, you know, uh, just I'm nervous. You know, it's like if there's not that chemistry there, um, I'll come quick. Yeah, you know, what's so funny is like I've never, I've I've come quick so many times, but it's never been because in my head, it's been literally because like my cock's like, we're coming. This feels awesome. Here we go. Yeah, and it's always because of that pre rub, that pre over the fucking jeans. Like grind crushes me. If we start grinding, it's over. I got three pumps, and that's 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 we're pushing. Oh, it. dude, I forgot to tell you, I had a dream where I saw your cock. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know, it just popped up. I don't know if it was in person or a photo, and I was curious because you always talk about girth, and I was like, oh, there it is, it, <laughs> Roku remote. <laughs> like it, like it, like I was like, oh yeah. It's, so in what were we at the like the skate park? Where, where, where are we? <laughs> uh, the back of a cop car. Um, I don't know. It just like popped in my brain. I think it was like you. Were, I think you were like showing me a photo on your phone of something, and you swiped one over. Also, what was weird about it? It was an above. It was a uh, like above shot, like looking up. Like we were in bed. Like we just <laughs> finished fucking. No, no, no. Like like uh, like somebody took like a photo from underneath it. Oh my cock! Underneath my cock. Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. That's a good angle. I think that's the probably where you get the biggest looking dick. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, you get a .5 in the right shadow? Come on now. Fuck. Dude, you hold your cock and you go all the way down like so you can feel your fucking gallbladder. Your pelvis, so it looks yeah. like there's so much. There's not. You just take. You just pull your cock. <laughs> Fuck. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. guys say ever taking dick pics where you just like <laughs> you just pull it out to look bigger? No? All right. Yeah, no, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought I was the only one. God damn. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. As we always say on the stiffest socks in the world, dude, we are big proponents of therapy, dude. If you want to find happiness, I highly recommend getting into therapy. It gives you the skills that you need to just battle all the kind of the inner demon thoughts and uh, just a better perspective and a better skill set and just learning how to handle what life throws at you, man. It's a, um, you know, therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Dude, therapy is incredible. Um, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedules let's fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you dude you can switch therapists anytime okay for no additional charge if you don't like him because his name is milk mart i don't know why his name would be milk mart but if it is and you don't like his name you know switch it up it doesn't matter um no one wants to drive no one wants to drive, okay? You want to have all on your phone, your computer, you know, in the comfort of your home. It's so nice to, you know, it's so nice to tell people your feelings, but also it might be just more comfortable because you're more comfortable in your own house. So, BetterHelp is awesome. Highly recommend. So, make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash socks today to get 10% off your first month, okay? That is BetterHelp.com slash socks. Get 10% off your first month. Go find that freaking happiness you've been searching for and the happiness you deserve. Stiff socks out. God damn.
Well, so wait, how was the next day with uh, your videographer? Was it awkward? Or were you like, hey, man, sorry, I was on one? Um, well, he was he was at the hotel at the time, and I don't uh, I don't really remember. Yeah, actually, I don't think we talked, which is kind of fucked on my end. Uh, but when we saw each other again, he was like, he was like, dude, I'm sorry. I was like, it's all, dude, it's all good. Like, it's fine. It's not like you didn't, you weren't doing it on purpose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was like, <clears throat> I told him, I, I told him exactly what I just said to you. I was like, bro, if I wasn't bricked up, I would have, I think I would have fired you. And then I would have been like, I'm sorry. I'm crazy. Like, I'm no. Yeah. Why'd you get fired? My boss was hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what saved him. Wow. Yeah. True. Yeah, saved um, him. Who gives a so fuck? yeah, I'm recording this in New York. Michael is in the studio. Our travels just been hectic. We might have to do a oh few my God, of these. It's been crazy. But um, yeah, you just filmed your special. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. I felt like shit that I wasn't there. Saw photos. Oh, it looks incredible. Uh, the people I talked to said you crushed. What, walk me through it. How'd it go? You did shows Friday that weren't taped, and then you did two shows Saturday, and then you you did a show Sunday. Yeah. So what I did was I did. One Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday. Um, the early Friday was taped. Oh, but, nice. Because what I'm doing is I'm putting two pieces of content. So I'm doing a crowd work special that we filmed. And then I'm also doing an, the actual special. Because oh. I was like, if we're all going to be here, let me just get two pieces of content. So the early Friday was a crowd work special. I did crowd work for maybe like 35 minutes and then then did bits. Um, and then... And how'd that go? Because crowd work really... It's, it's hard to like plan a crowd work show... Yeah. Because some crowds give you fire and some are just like Correct. My dad's a fire truck. Actually that's fire. That was been great. <laughs> um it, it went it went really well. Um like of the like of the thirty five minutes, um, you know, there might be like fifteen, which I'm very happy with. There might be like fifteen, twenty maybe like usable stuff. But like I think I think like a fifteen, twenty minute quote unquote crowd work special thing is enough. I also did like five to six minutes on each show Saturday too. So we can kind of crush it all together. So it might be a little more than what I think it. Yeah, would I be. also think that you can post Friday or whatever doesn't make it on a Saturday as like the uh, the stuff that didn't make the special. You know, <clears throat> right, right. It's just all um, it's all promo <clears throat> to the same area. Did you wear the same 100%. clothes or no? Yeah, yeah, same clothes, same clothes. And the set was done. Um, the set was done and locked on on Friday. So we got the same same set, same lighting, same everything. So it'll it'll we can all cut it together if we, if if. Uh, from all three shows that was sort of like the point to just have like i didn't want to do a ton of crowd work on friday i'm sorry on the saturday shows because i wanted to leave myself enough time to record as many like actually actual bits as possible so yeah. um so that's why i wanted to do the friday just so i can do the most crowd work on friday so i can get both both pieces of content um but yeah dude friday early went fucking phenomenal um the only weird thing was is they lit it for crowd work so you know that i like a bright room but it was bright. Did you not do like a like a sound check and see how bright it was gonna be? No, I I did, I did. But you just don't know until everyone's in the room. Yeah, and well, that's also weird like, because people aren't as vulnerable when like if it's bright as fuck, correct. they're not gonna be like my cousin touched me. Yep, yep, yep. They and might. I think I think the it was it was really good the people I talked to. Um, but. I think that the people like, you know, in row seven, eight, nine or whatever the fuck and back, I think they felt a little self-conscious. It was still great. The show went awesome. I'm still very happy about it. But like there was a slight people being like a little hesitant to get on board with certain stuff because you feel like exposed if you're so bright. Of course. Of um, course. Yeah. And especially in that room because the Thursday show was insanely incredible. I mean, that, Denver Comedy Works is where I shot. It's I told like you to film them all. Yeah, dude, it's probably one of the best clubs in the in the country. And the, so Thursday show was fucking crazy, like standing O, like crazy. I told you, you should have filmed the, all the shows, man. I it's all good, dude. But well, I'll, I'll I'll finish. But but yeah, so did that one. So what I'm saying is the difference between like the way that that Thursday show felt versus like the Friday where everything's bright. You could tell the difference, but like it was still a really good show. But comparatively, the levels of laughter were different. So very, still very happy with the Friday show. Um, then. Friday late was bananas, and then the two Saturday. So a lot of funny stuff, a lot of funny shit here. So um, got on got on stage, like was there like all day, like I mean you did it right. So you're all there all day, fucking prepping and saying yes and no to certain things, whatever the fuck, right? So you, I was I was there since like I mean I think like I got there at like twelve and didn't leave till like fucking you know one a.m. Um, <clears throat> so I got on stage on Friday and I'm sorry on Saturday, 
feeling good. Everything's fucking popping. The crowd's insanely great. Whatever, whatever, right? So first 20 minutes, just fucking murdering. Feeling so good. Then I get into that that bit I have about the girlfriend NFL stuff, Trev. And some dude yells out, probably from the Broncos. And he's like, second row. And I turn to him, I go, what would you say, you fentanyl fuck? What's going like I it was funny, but it was like a hair too much because in my head I'm like, God, it's going so good. What are you doing, man? Yeah, dude, I had what that on doing? my show too, on the, the second show, yeah. Yeah. And he was so nice, man. And if you're listening, bro, like I, no dis like I, I he was so nice and he was doing it out of like just excitement. Um because I just don't think a lot of people know like how tapings are, right? It's like it's it's a thing. Well, you forget so, like, you, you, you see the cameras when you walk in, then you sit down and you're like, it's just a comedy show, you know. Word, exactly. Because they're all behind you. It's not like they're looking yeah. at the cameras. Correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So I didn't think about that. Um, but anyway, so it was a little disruption. And then, then you know, you're filming, right? So then I got to get, I'm like, I got to look, I got to talk to production. I got to be like, hey, was I right about here when I started the joke? And like, I'm like, it's so hard it to like remember. It momentum. Yeah, you're starting Correct. a joke that you're used to doing 35 minutes in at zero now. And you're like, how? Correct. Tag? Yeah. 100%. I literally had so that I'm like, on mine. I don't know if you saw, I think it was the second show, but it was a joke about, a stuttering and then I had a stutter I, I couldn't remember how to set it back up yeah yeah and yeah. And, and, and then the world starts in caving and you get all sweaty and you're a little hard yeah. and you fire yeah. your videographer yeah <laughs> yeah so so it took me a second and then I'm like and then I'm just mad at him so it took me a second to get back and then I look back at him I go bro if this wasn't a taping I would yell at you for 15 minutes right now but I need to get like I was like he like really threw me off and then whatever so I get back into it and then momentum starts building very then then it starts going really well again and then and then i'm in <laughs> i'm in the middle of a bitch rev and then behind me there's is you know there's a million lights right and they're all uh not led whatever the fuck they're all different colors right that all every light can be a different color is what i'm saying so all of a sudden like three lights just go from white to red patreon hey <laughs> And then I stop and I look and it's like, it's not a little apparent, like it's half the set's red, yeah. right? So then I stop and I look at production, I go, all right guys, I can't keep going, right? No one talks to me. I'm like, hey, somebody, someone talk to me, well, someone well, talk but, to me. Yeah, it's funny because they're like, is this a bit? Is this crowd work? Is it like, we don't know. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then dude, and they are, the people who do my special are fucking unbelievable. Like I love them. They will do every special I've ever done. I love them. Um, so whatever. So finally someone comes out and they're like, okay, we're, f we're fixing, we're fixing, we're fixing. I was like, okay, okay. So then four people get on stage from production, <laughs> fixing the light. And now I'm, now I'm just on stage. So then, I mean, you, you know us, man, like we're, I, I'm, I'm fine on my feet, like just kind of thinking fast or whatever. And so then I just start fucking around with the crowd and then it's just, it becomes, it's really fun. Like, we, you know, haymaker, whatever, whatever. We're like we're doing essentially crowd work and it makes it extra funny because they all know that people are fixing lights behind me. So it makes it, the whole thing is like extra funny. Yeah, I mean, that, that's just um, even funny to cut too. Be like, you know, crowd, light went out of my special, had to fill time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, there's there's so much, there was that, um, there was that piece. Anyway, but I'm getting to the other thing. So so that happened and then they finally fixed it. And then and then it's sort of the same thing where I'm like, all right, I don't even know the hell what I, I was, but everyone in the crowd was so nice. They're like, you're at this part. I was like, ah, fuck. Like they were like, awesome, right? So I get back in the shit, went fucking, then the rest of it went so great. Like just so, couldn't be more happy about the set. Um, few things that like, whatever, but I was like, all right, we have, a, we have a taping in an hour. So we have another one. We'll get the, we'll get the stuff that I feel like I fucked up on white. So then I'm doing like, generally all my, all my shows I do, I kind of just do like a little tiny speech with gratitude, right? So then I, I start kind of going off script with the gratitude thing. And I'm, I'm maybe like 10 seconds, 15 seconds in. I'm going a little de more detailed than I normally do. So I was like, oh, let me just do it on the special so I can, you know, really tell people how much this means to me. So I'm going in. I'm like, yeah, like literally, guys, like four years ago, I was like walking dogs. And I was like driving Lyft. And I, I had like zero dollars to my name and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, production <laughs> drops this fucking... <laughs> Like the biggest metal, I don't know what it was, but the biggest metal sound that you could ever hear, right? It just goes, plonk, right? And yeah. then I turn to the sound, I go, hey, why don't you bring a fucking marching band out next time? And then I just start riffing on that for like a minute. It's like crushing. 
And it's just such a funny thing to go from like, like I feel like I'm like getting chills and I'm like, feel like I'm about to cry. <laughs> and I just like start yelling. But it ended so funny uh, that it's that to your point, Trevor, it's like, that's another thing I can maybe use. I might even, might want to like start, whatever the fuck, but like another like piece of funny like content to use. Because it, it got to a very, like, funny place. Yeah, all the bloopers um, from the special, etc. Yeah, uh, correct. I mean, correct. ultimately, uh, I'm sure if you talk to anybody who shot a special, they uh, will be like, yeah, the day of. Like, in so much of this, I'm sure you can fix in the edit, but you'll be like, dude, the day of is like, this guy was missing. The camera op was drunk. Uh, this The crowd guy yeah. threw a beer bottle. Like, there's probably so many problems that they experience. But, I mean, that's why you shoot it with nine cameras. You can edit around it. And even if you keep that in... Um, you know, it's it's all for it. some of the stuff I kept in my edit. It's like, like in my closing bit on the third show. I don't know if you, you were there at that one. A guy's yeah, yeah, yeah. walking up next to the stage, and it's like the last shot. He's walking up. I go yeah. sit down, and then it's just like it's such a quick that that got yeah. a hit, and I was like, do I keep this in? So like, ultimately, if they're watching to the very end, they're already a fan, and the log off if it's funny, you know. Uh, you can keep it in. It's it, you know, it's just whatever's unique to you. And if it's and if Michael yeah. Blaustein, I don't know why I'm fucking like TED Talk lecturing. But if Michael Blaustein is the type of guy who would yell at the sound guy, which you are, <laughs> keep it in. You know, it, it just feels like you. There's there's no need. You know, you want it to be as perfect as possible, but you also want to show like, this is me. This is me in front yeah. of the camera. This is me off the camera. This is both sides. The dualities of a man. It's also cool because it shows that it's a live show. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. so like yeah, a live show is not not so clean. Yeah, um, and it, then so again, I was like super happy about that taping, and so it, it's kind of funny. Like I was in the green room with uh, my opener, uh, Neil Ghost, very funny guy, and so we were. I was kind of going over, and um, by the way, like I, you guys knew this, but like to people listening and watching, like my voice was almost gone on on Wednesday. Like before I even got to Colorado, yeah. I had to go to the EN, the ENT, the e ear, ears, no throat doctor. They gave me like, they gave me steroids. They gave me all this shit um, because they were like, they like took pictures of my uh, vocal cords or vocal flaps, whatever. Hey, vocal flaps. Sucking her. Oh yeah. It looks like a pussy. I showed it like a picture. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. Send it um, to me. But a, a regular vocal flaps are supposed to just lie like this, like flat, flat. But mine were literally look like fucking puzzle pieces. Oh, so it was slut. they were, ayo. So they were fucked up. Like before I even got there, and I had to do five fucking shows. So my voice is already fucking gone. So after the first fr uh, Saturday show, I was so tired because it's like you know a lot of pressure, whatever the fuck. Like you get extra tired after that. But also my voice is almost gone. So. I'm back there after the Saturday show with Neil uh, in the green room, and I'm going over bits that we think we quote unquote got. So then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, cool. Then I, if we had it, if we have it, then I don't have to do another hour and 20 minutes. Maybe I can condense this down to 40. This is Sunday or Saturday of, late night? The Saturday late. The second taping. So then I'm like, all right, well, I can condense it. Maybe I don't have to do an hour and 20. Maybe I can do 40, whatever. So production comes back, and I pitch them this idea, and they sit. And they've been so like accommodated and like just super nice to me. And the, with the funniest thing, he goes, nah, let's just, we're going to do it again. <laughs> like, well, yeah, because what, he, the, the funny part is, and, and I have the same logic was a lot of times your camera might not be set or might be out of focus on that. It's like, there was so many where I was like, oh no, this was way better on show two. And they're like, yeah, but the camera was adjusting or like it went soft on focus. And so they want that second one because it's riding on it. Like, oh, fuck, that joke, audio-wise, great. But for the shots, could be better. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even think about, um, like, four camera or four sound. Um, but but the, the point I'm getting to is the second show, guys, it was unbelievable. Yeah, like, it's always what happens. The first one, it's like dude, a test of time, and the second one is just Holy fucking, fuck. I just, just I was... Line fucking just super loose the yeah. crowd was perfect dog like not too uproarious like just and, and they were just like perfect and i felt like trev you understand when i say this but it's like when you get low in terms of volume you just you feel like no one's gonna yell because they're so on board and they're just like a kind of a good audience and that's what i felt like they were fucking awesome and I could kind of sit in the pocket for a second and not feel as though someone's going to be like, fucking feet, say feet. Like, I, I felt like they were just really, like, good. Um, so the second show, dude, I think I did, like, an hour and 
27. Like, it was just yeah, like, man. it was fucking unbelievable. Like, best. It felt so fucking good. I was super, super loose. Yeah, it's great. But the funny thing, yeah, the funny thing at the end, that we had to do a few pickups. And exactly what we were saying before, they're like, can you do this joke? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, I got it. And I'm sitting there for like 10 seconds, like literally 10 seconds. And I'm like, and I look at Neil and I'm like, how does this go? I don't know how this joke goes. Because out of context with no momentum, starting from like, I, yeah, exactly. it's so hard. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't remember. And then so we like, whatever. We, I mean, we get it and it's fine. Um, but dude, when we finished the pickups, everything was great. I got back in the green room. Dog, I've never felt a feeling of relief as much as that, that moment. Yeah. It was like, holy it's fuck, done. dude, we camera. got it. Yeah, dude, we got it. I feel so good about it. The set looked good. Like, I like what I was wearing. The bits felt good. The audience was awesome. And now it's done. Yeah. It's fucking done. Well, and it's yeah. like, I mean, it's, it's, it's this weird relief because you're so go, 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 go. And yes. then when it's done, you're like, but I'm used to go, go, go. Yeah. And then it feels a little weird. You take some time off. Well, you're not. You're going to fucking Kalamazoo on Tuesday or some shit. I don't know where you're going. <laughs> but then you have like two weeks to gray spirit. And then you're like, all right, to the editing room. And then you're like, wait, I thought I crushed. What the fuck is this? You know, it's like, <laughs> but, but, but then it's like they start mixing and adding the audio and, and bumping yeah. everything and leveling it out and adding color. And you're like, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a crazy feeling. Did you do anything to celebrate after? Uh, No, dude. Lit, li, dude, literally, literally nothing, bro. I not nothing. I did actually something super funny. I well, fucked a Twinkie. Hey, we got back to the condo, and by the way, my videographer and Neil, who was opening for me, they both got sick two days before uh, on Thursday. So I'm so they're sick. There's medicine fucking everywhere. My voice is almost gone. Out. So no I'm one's, sick of no, it. <laughs> no one's doing anything, right? So I go back into my room. And you've been to the Comedy Works condo, right? No. Did you stay there when you... Oh, you didn't? Oh, dude. It's, it's actually a really, really nice, cool place. Anyways, so we get back to the condo. And in the master bedroom, whatever, they have... In the bathroom, they have a, a, a tub. But it's like a, a... What? A whirlpool tub? What the fuck are those? You know what I mean? With Lazy the Susan. <laughs> no. The tub... If that has the the jets like a jacuzzi tub thank you daddy jacuzzi jet yeah. yeah they have a jacuzzi tub so in my head i'm like i haven't taken a bath since i was 10. Fuck it i just feel my special so i filled the bitch with the hottest water possible i got so high bro i usually take like <laughs> one one toke of the vape pen i shit you know i took like six i was gone i was fucking gone i sat in the bath i sat in the bath it was so hot i think it was too hot it was too hot. And then I took my phone, set it on a, a towel, put Gladiator on, had headphones, watched Gladiator high as fuck. And then, and, then about, and then about 15 minutes in, your boy got horny. To <laughs> Gladiator? Dick, no, I don't. Maybe, too busy thinking about right? that Roman Empire. God. But dude, it's funny is I started getting so fucking hard that <clears throat> my dick came out of the fucking water. And I was like, I switched that gladiator right to goddamn X and X, X, fucking boop, boop, goth feet, send. And I couldn't jerk off in the tub because I can't get baby oil in the fucking tub. So I sat on the edge of the fucking tub, hand, bro, holding my phone. Bro, I felt like Trevor. Bro. I was holding my phone, jacking my cock at 4.30 in the morning, high as fuck. Nine hours after I filmed my special. I have a lot of things to say after this. First of all, your dick was essentially an island, if you think about it. It's just land protruding through the water. (laughs) Second of all, that is how I imagine most inmates spend their last night before they get electrocuted on death row. I want to watch Gladiator. tub? What? Uh Uh-oh. I want to watch Gladiator jerk off and land a tub? That sounds like a guy who's going to get the electric chair tomorrow. (laughs) Or the most alpha male thing to ever do ever. Probably, probably yours. Probably yours. <laughs> so did, did, we, did you rub? So you rubbing out on the corner of a tub? Yep. With rub a feet, tub, not tub. God. <laughs> Title. Um. No, my feet. My feet weren't even in the water. I fucking. My feet were on. I was on the corner of the tub. And my feet were on the on the tile. Out of the water. You were jerking Just off sh- like you were on your lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I dude, it was and it was such a good beat too. Holy fuck. I haven't been that high. I mean, I'm not shitting you in ten years. 
I was, because when I get high, I just literally hit, take like one hit and get like get like six percent high and like whoa, I'm high and I go to sleep. I jerk off and I go to sleep. But I was, I was so high I didn't. I like looked at the. I was on Safari and I couldn't remember a porn site. That's how high I was. I sat there for a good four seconds, being like, I couldn't remember one. God, sir, damn. just type in sex. And you're good. Just <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was great. That, so that's how I celebrated. And then I woke up and got on a plane. It's Yeah, it's a lot of right back to it. But you, you got to take some time. And I think your schedule, I mean, um, you know, most people shoot their special at the end of their tour. But you still have like, I'm dumb. You have like a year of tour dates. So you, you should yeah. treat yourself to uh, uh, like a full day recovery or, or massage Buddy, or something. You or, know what I did yesterday? Um, you Everyone here would be so proud of me or not. But you know what I did yesterday? I went to... Uh, uh, a Korean spa. Nice. Have you guys ever been to a Korean spa? Mm -mm. I've heard Holy of it. Holy fuck. Dude, we all need to go. We all need to go. It was unbelievable. It's There's a woman's side and a men's side. I went to the woman's side. Fuck no. I went to the men's hey. side, obviously. And in my head, I'm like, just going to be a bunch of fucking guys who like dick, trying to whatever. No. Everyone's there just trying to fucking relax. No one's talking to anyone. First of all, you can't talk, which is great. You can't take your phone in there. You have to lock it up. It's great, right? And then, so there's the a steam room, a uh, dry heat, then there's a cold plunge and a hot tub. Holy fuck. And they're all, ma like the cold plunge is like as big as this fucking room. They're all massive. Yeah. Um, I actually been to one of these once. Oh, dude, it's phenomenal. So in the steam room and the sauna, you can leave a towel on, right? But when you go in the cold plunge and the, and the, and the hot tub, you have to take towel You're off. You're going dick out in a cold plunge? Let me tell you a secret. I'm sitting next to my buddy Neil Ghosh, and we're just doing the sauna in the steam room. We're not gonna go in the. We're not taking our cock out. Why not? But let me tell you something. You're there for 20, 30, 40 minutes. Everyone's rolling around with cocks out. You're like, it stops being nudity. It just becomes you're just at the spa. No one's looking at cock. Like everyone's just at the spa. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's like a so then new I beach. hit. Correct. I hit Neil. I go. I'm doing this. He goes, you're doing this. I go, buddy. I don't give a fuck. Cock out. I've never, and I've never done a cold plunge before. So I'm like, fuck it. We're here. Spent 50 bucks. Let's do this. So I walk up to the cold plunge. Cock out. I've, I never, you know how normal like football locker rooms or whatever in high school or gyms, or stuff, you're in gym class, you have to shower in front of everybody. I've never done that. Yeah. So I've never like, I've never taken my cock out in front of another man, let alone 23 men. We've figured out a lot about you this episode. You picture your videographer yeah. when you fuck. Uh-huh. I get to hard to gladiator. Let's not forget that. All I'm saying, I, I think we, uh, you know, you, man. You've come along. Yeah. So, take my cock out, get in the cold plunge. Holy fuck. Has anyone done a cold plunge in this room? Yeah. Or Trev? You, you have? You feel, yeah, oh yeah. You feel incredible after. Dude, how long did you stay? How long did you get in there for? I don't know because Chad and I uh, filmed the video using it, and half the time we were in like normal water. But then the the last like moment, we poured all the ice in for the last shot because that's when the camera could see it. But I was in there for a long fucking time. But when I got out, dude, I was like, honestly, I think I could like square up with somebody on PCP. Like I was, I felt like yeah, the best I felt in a while. Which is annoying dude, because felt... usually people who do cold plunge are so annoying. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, am I gonna be one of that's how it always starts. You talk shit and then you join. Yeah, one hundred percent, dude. I felt unbelievable. I, 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 I know the effects last or start. I guess whatever after like two minutes. So I definitely stayed in there for two minutes. But it started like it started really hurting. Like it was like it really fucking like my whole body was hurting. Yeah, it's not pleasant. It was so fucking cold. Well, also but to then go two you, minutes in your first time is like you that like that like usually people work their way up. 30 seconds yeah. a minute. Bruh, it was like, so, but what's cool is you can go from the cold to hot and there's yeah. like a little walkway. It's like right next to each other. It was, dude, let, we should all go. I'm just, I'm, all I'm saying is I'm just a very uh, elaborate ruse to see everyone's cock. <laughs> Perfect. We should <laughs> get a cold plunge in the office. Possible. Those days where we got to bank up episodes, cold plunge that's office. Not, dude, that's actually a great idea. Dude. Oh, oh, let me tell you something. My dick has never looked so small. I got out and I was like, guys, What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Even my Adderall dick is looking at that like, God damn. <laughs>
That's awesome, man. Well, congrats on the special again. Sorry I couldn't oh, be thanks, there. Man. Um, oh, dude, no worries, man. It was so, <clears throat> it was fucking awesome. Man. Everything just really came together. I was, I'm just so happy about did it. You, did you get like photos and stills over there too? Are you going to post anything? Um, yeah, I'm going to post, yeah, I'm going to post everything tomorrow. I'm going to, I have a bunch of stuff that's, uh, that doesn't, I, I kind of want to save the reveal the set. of set to yeah. like when we're, that's what we're going to drop. Yeah, so I have a lot of like uh, BTS type stuff that I'm gonna post, and um, just really, really cute picture that my video I forget that I'm very happy with that I got back the moment I got to the back in the green room. My buddy uh, uh, Neil was there, and so we just like we just like embraced. Cause I was like so, just like such a moment of just like oh god, it's fucking over. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean so that's, that's like you're running a marathon. Was like, that was the red tape that you yes, ran through. Yeah, that's exactly the feeling. Yeah. and now you're training and, uh, to run uh, the capital. So pretty fun. January 6th, dude, it's coming up. Should we go to DC on January 6th? <laughs> we should just go. What happens? I also think they're glocked up. Just <laughs> did, did you come up with a name for the special from your set or you're still sitting on it? You don't I'm need, still yeah. sitting on it. Yeah. I, I, st I still think I'm going to call it what, what we what talked you told about. Me, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Just means the most to me, so. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. Um, well, now you're back and you leave for two days. Maybe you'll have some a time to get a little bit of cool. <laughs> Dude, I need it, bro. I need it. I haven't got some. I, I mean, I. What, yeah. So, what, so what's up with the lady? Any any traction, or is it like it's too early on to be making judgment calls? It's too early on, and also like I just been so goddamn preoccupied with like the special and there's like a i mean you know dude there's like a billion decisions that it needs made every fucking day yeah. and just kind of concentrating on like i'm like i'm not gonna go on a date right now like i need to like go over this the material and does this go to get like just like feeling like it just i need it's just a lot of shit to do so i haven't really seen her in a little bit um but uh but yeah i think when things maybe like after nashville because dude i'm leaving for nashville in fucking a day so to do six shows, your voice six shows. is literally going to sound like gravel getting thrown out of the me, window. Oh, let me tell you a secret. Have you ever taken prednisone before? Yeah. Bitch. Fixes everything. Dude, dude I didn't take it Friday because I was so scared because I get, I get affected so easily on some shit. I took it Saturday morning because I was like, dude, I have to make it through these days. I took it Saturday morning. I have never felt so good. Whole, dude, for like three hours straight, I was like, if my life just stayed like this, I I, I wouldn't need... This is pure bliss. <laughs> I was so happy. Yeah, you what should never that? do cocaine. You have an addictive personality based on that sentence you just said. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I have to throw these pregnants on away or it's going to be a problem. Dude, I love take them. them to Nashville. <laughs> What's up, Nashville? I'm pregnant zoned out. Dude, six shows. And... Yeah, wow. You need to just fucking gargle some chicken noodle soup and call your mother. That's that's your throat's going to be burning. Well, I know. Dude, uh, I, let's get into yeah. some sock talk. Let's save all the words for this weekend. Let's do it. Yeah, guys, we have uh we have a sock talk today. This comes from come, come. This comes from Lola. Lola. Lola says, "Girls don't want dick pics. They want vocal nut videos." First of all, are you speaking for the community? Are you speaking on behalf of all shotties? Because I'll do whatever y'all want. But you want Hold me to send on. a voice memo? Oh, fuck. Is that what she's saying? Or is she saying a video of us nutting? A video of you nutting, but being vocal too. They want to hear it. They want to see it. You know they don't just want a picture of a dick. You know what's interesting? In the last like six months, I've gotten a lot of requests for that. Like way more than normal. And a lot. I'm talking about what like What is this three, fucking but, like, cameo? <laughs> <laughs> Who's requesting this, dude? But like, when, you know, when you're like sending news back and forth or whatever, like the next, the next like ex escalation is like that. And I've got like it's it's happened probably about three times. So this is not. I don't know if she's speaking for all women, but she's speaking for a percentage because it's like a thing. And I, I guess I can get on board with that. Just fucking ugh. oh fuck. Oh, oh, Gladiator is my favorite movie. <laughs> so you come like you just stubbed your toe. I do. I do. I come like I'm fighting like a small Boston Terrier. <laughs> what a sentence, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, we should put a poll up, find out yeah. if this is uh, how common this is. We'll put I, it, uh, I love this idea. If you're listening on Spotify, it's the poll on the episode. So go Hell vote. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Do you guys want to do a secret sock anonymous submission? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Secret sock anonymous submission says, I think my ex-boyfriend was using my dildo behind my back. Hell yeah. I like this guy. For context, my ex and I used to live together. We were having frequent enough sex, so I didn't feel the need to keep my dildo in my nightstand anymore. And I retired it to the spare bedroom closet shelf. Damn, dude, that's One like day... going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> One day I came home from work only to find it sitting suction cupped to the edge of our bathtub. I was suspicious as the closet was nowhere uh, near our bathroom, so I asked him about it. He immediately got flustered and claimed that it had fallen on the floor and he took it to the bathroom to clean it, then put it on the edge of the tub, quote, to dry. That's yeah, I would have been I, like, no, it's like Toy Story. It got <laughs> up and it moved. That's actually really quick thinking on his feet. I was rinsing uh, to dry. I needed to dry my coat on there. He was drying his um, so throat I, on there. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to ask more questions like how did it fall and why he didn't wash it in the kitchen sink since that was closer and he just dismissed it as me being weird and paranoid. Um, it Gaslight. Wouldn't have, it wouldn't have bothered me <laughs> if he was using it since I already knew he was into anal. However, it would have been nice to know so I didn't use it on myself again. We've since broken up because he cheated and to this day... Yeah, it's with still a man for sure. <laughs> or with another dildo. This guy's a freak. I like this guy. Uh, but she she says, uh, to this day, it still keeps me up at night wondering if he was secretly using my dildo. And I just wanted yes. to know if Trevor Michael could think of any other possible reasons why my dildo was misplaced. Nope. He was putting it in his anus cavity. Yeah. He no was... other thing. Hey, and look, no there's no thing. disrespect to being curious. I mean, depending on how long I'll be in a relationship in the future, I'll probably put a, a thing or two in my ass. Yeah. Yeah, I'll so no shit. hate on this guy, but he definitely did it. Like he that, like a hundred percent. That logic checks cheated, out. Fuck yeah, him. That logic is like I remember I got caught with weed in like eighth grade. My parents were like, "Why do you have weed and eye drops in your bed?" I was like, "I found it with a lighter and eye drops and a container." Yeah, like it, the faster you are to dismiss something, the truer it is. This guy was backing it up like a damn dump truck. Beep beep beep. He was looking for it. <laughs> he was putting it in and reverse, it. and that's fine because he put it in reverse and left. Or he was practicing. Sucking the old wangs. Oh. Yeah. Probably. Mm. Could be doing pull-ups. I'm kind of curious how that feels, honestly. Or maybe it's like a handle in the shower, so if he slips getting out of the tub, he can grab onto it. That's what I would have said. She would have like, why is it moved? And I would have said, it didn't move. What are you talking about? Dude, that's it's always been here. <sighs> wow. Gaslight. <laughs> what a way I to love stir it. up the pot. With the dildo. Yeah. <laughs> You can also just put a suction cup in, like, in the kitchen like on the, the air vent and just see what happens. Why is it that's up true. there? I don't know. My coat. Same. Yeah, What's I up? think that's what you have to do after this. You're like, I don't know. Like it just You just have to keep it's got a mind of its own. and putting it different places. Yeah, it's like, oh, someone's breaking in and putting the dildo everywhere. That's so yeah. cool that she like retired the vibrator. That's got to feel great as a man being like, hold on. You retiring... I don't want the seven that. Seven times MVP, Buzz Buzz champion of the world. I don't want that. Too much pressure. Bring it back in. <laughs> Use it on Tuesdays and Fridays. I don't want to be I don't want to be the only fucking cock you have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cheat on me. <laughs> I'm trying to watch gladiators and jerk off in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah. Hot but you know tub what I mean, dude? Title. Do you think on the I think it's a Toy Story thing, dude. I think if you turn the dildo over, it says Andy. <laughs> That's so funny. Fuck everyone here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's... Have you ever seen Toy Story? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm anything so that's like rated like P or PG, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you know your boy saw it. Are there things rated P? No. <laughs> <laughs> rated G. <laughs> <laughs> rated P for porn. <laughs> what is the difference between P and PG? What, what are they there doing? There is no P. No, That's G. What we're laughing at. G and PG. Oh. What? I don't, dude, G, I don't know, man. G is like a Christian film, maybe? I don't know. But like, what, PG, what? It shows like a side boob for half a second? 
on an animated not thing. Not yeah, suitable for children. Maybe like a fart joke, maybe. Like something like that. You know what I mean? How, maybe like an innuendo. Yeah, because I think Shrek is rated PG, and that's got some innuendo in it. You know? I think it's innuendos, yeah. Isn't that crazy that there was like, there was PG movies that are like, this is a little too raunchy. We might have to make it. Might have to make it G. They're like, no. Oh yeah, there's a dude. People, they uh, movie companies will fight like the rating people like a motherfucker. Because like the difference between like PG thirteen and R, just in terms of like uh like revenue, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that Insane. does make that does make sense actually. I didn't yeah. Think about that. And then G to PG, that's that's like there's probably a lot of parents who won't take their kids to like a Pixar movie if it's not G. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well, guys, we learned a lot. We did. This was a great episode. Yeah. The hotel pods, yeah. always, always a hit. Well, um, and then on Patreon, I got to talk about my Mets experience because I threw the first pitch, pitch of the Mets game, and it went oh, as well. Yeah. It went as well as that sentence just went, but it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the video, and, and I just want Michael to see it. So Gabe, don't show him, but uh, okay. I, I would just like you to see it. It's not bad. It's not great. We'll, we'll I see. I can't. Really wait. quick, did you meet Mister Met? No, he was somewhere fucking doing whippets in a Capri Sun. I don't know. <laughs> dude, their mascot literally just looks like a guy with a styrofoam head on. You know what's so funny, dude, is uh, some of the highest paid mascots make more than WNBA players. <laughs> oh, for shit. real? It's for real. It's, so, it, it's fucked, but it's actually very funny to say that out loud. A guy, like the Philly fanatic makes more than like Sheriff Swoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Mets uh, stadium is hilarious. It's in a junkyard, and they sell mufflers out front. I mean, it is. They made Philly fans look good. No, I'm kidding. Mets, I love you. Um, so funny. I'll talk about it on Patreon this Friday. But uh, Frick yeah. Yeah, I think that's a podcast episode. We did. That's a podcast. Uh, guys, friend of Romano, we have a Patreon. Uh, drops every Friday at free $5. Guys, I mean, that's literally less than a cup of coffee. So go get that. Get an extra episode every Friday, ad free, new bonus content every freaking Friday. And we have Stiff Socks Plus that's on Apple Consumers Only. That's the same exact bonus episode, but it's audio only. Um, and then uh, Sp uh, Spotify has the Patreon integration as well. So if you guys want to jump on Patreon through Spotify, you can do that. Um, and that is it. Um, come see Mr. Wallace and Mr. Boss on our tour. We love you guys. And that is it. That is it. That is it. A uh, big kiss and a big hug. Jerk me off on Flag Day. <laughs>